Um, today is Thursday, June 11th, 2020, and it's 6.30. And this is the JFK Building Committee um, virtual meeting. Uh, may we have a roll call, please? Randy Daigle. Yes. Rose Bouchard. Gina Sakala. Here. Chris Clare. David Costa. Here. Chris Eichley. Here. Amy Dennis. <coughs> Caitlin Dunn. Scott Copen. Here. Bruce Kellogg. Here. Walter Cruzel. Here. Kevin Margolfo. Here. Michael Monafort. Here. Joe Muller. Jeff Oaken. Amar Shamas. Greg Stritch. Here. Stacy Thurston. Marcus Brennan. Here. Nate Gingerella. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Um, this is gonna be a short meeting tonight. It's a special meeting. Um, did everybody get a chance to review the meeting minutes dated June 4th? And if so, are there any comments or corrections? Mr. And if Chairman, not, somebody make a motion. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we accept the meeting minutes of June 4th, 2020 as issued. Second. Any discussion? Show of hands all in favor. Anybody against? Anybody abstain? Um, so the reason why we call this special meeting tonight is because we have two ATPs on uh, the agenda for this evening. And what I will do is let's see. So I gotta find. I'm sorry, it's not on the the tablet here. It keeps. So we have two ATPs. Um, we have ATP number two, um, which is kind of one I discussed the other day. So both of these ATPs were discussed at the budget subcommittee before tonight's meeting and uh, unanimously were approved to submit to you guys for approval tonight. Um, Greg, do you want to make a motion and then we can discuss it? Uh, Mr. Chairman, to make a motion that we accept Gilbane ATP number 0002, revision five for the amount of $527,384 with the description of provide thermal duct product for rooftop duct work in lieu of sheet metal and Ventura clad. So, I'm sorry, thank you. So, in the discussion period. So basically what's happened is that when we designed the ductwork for this um, renovation as new, um, it's required to be 100% air conditioned. Um, the existing ceiling heights inside the school only allowed anywhere from nine inches to 12 inches for electrical, plumbing, mechanical, everything. Um, so we had to go up on the rooftop. Um, this is not a square building, so it's not like we can do one big trunk and then put legs off it to feed the different rooms. Every corridor, every leg has to have its own main trunk. Um, so we designed this behind the, be around this system, thermoduct system, but we also, not knowing where the numbers would come in, uh, had two lesser materials um, as an option in case numbers wise, we, were, we weren't under budget. Um, fortunately, we are substantially under budget. Um, and this system here is a much superior system. Um, there's gonna be some savings in the roofing aspect of this because we don't have to make penetrations as in, in a lot more areas where the traditional duct system, we would have to do what's called pitch pockets where penetrations go through the roof. These penetrations are gonna be where the structure is. So they're gonna be less um, invasive. So you're, we're probably gonna be in a 50 give or take range, thousand dollar credit, but that's gonna come from the roofing contract. Not, um, 
this also has a longer maintenance and lifetime and warranty. Um, it's just a better overall system. Uh, this is how the, what was designed for this building. Um, like I said, the reason if, if we didn't have um, a situation where we didn't know where the numbers were gonna come in, this is what was gonna be bid on, but we had two lesser materials just as an option. So I don't know if Chris or um, Greg or Scott want to jump in a little bit or if there's any other discussion that needs to be had. Uh, you covered it unless there's anything Marcus wants to add, but otherwise, no, that's that about sums it up. Yeah, I guess my only comment uh, would be I've had, uh, I've put normal ductwork and venture clad, which is currently the basis of design and other projects with, uh, with callbacks in only a few years. So I, I, I'm in big favor of, of moving to a product like this. So, yeah. Great. Um, are there, thank you very much. Are there any discussions, any other discussions regarding the product? All right, well, we have a second. Um, can we have a show of hands all in favor? Anybody against? Anybody abstain? Great, thank you so much. Now we're gonna move on to, oops, somebody, nope. We're gonna move on to ATP number four. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we accept Gilbane ATP number 0004, revision zero for the sum of $50,685 with the description of provide preferred lighting vendor Apex as requested by the owner. This is basically going to uh, back to the design basis fixtures that BVH originally intended that we get and not the substitutes that ended up in the GMP. I will second that. So basically, um, this is also one of those situations where um, Apex is a manufacturer and distributor for a specific lighting fixtures that this building was designed around. Um, we, the, since it's a public bid, the state requires us to have two other, minimum of two other products or manufacturers for lighting fixtures, but they have to prove that they're equal or above or better. Um, one of the things with this Illuminate was the other bidder um, that was actually the low bidder by 37,000. Um, but they were going through multiple distributors, multiple vendors. Um, they were substituting some fixtures that were not gonna be allowed because they just did not meet the, the, the standards of the fixtures that were designed. Um, by going with Apex, um, we have one one manufacturer, one distributor, if we have any issues or questions. Um, this is also good for the owner because at the end of the package, Gilbane does a warranty package where they have the um, manufacturers, names, distributors, all that. So when they give us a floor plan, electronic floor plan, and we would click on a light fixture, let's say, um, the information that would come out from that light fixture would be who it's from, the model number, the warranty, the replacement parts, all this by having to go through one manufacturer, it'll just save so much time and money and finger pointing because um, you don't have a ballast from one company and a fixture from another. Everything is is what we designed the building around. So every fixture that was designed are the fixtures we're going to get now. There's going to be no substitutions. Um, Real good. So the it's, it was thirty seven thousand. $411 difference between the low bid and the second low bid. We're not required by law or statute to take low bidder if we can justify it. Um, this is one of the acceptable justifications. Um, the difference is the overhead, the markup, the bond costs, insurance. So that would have been applied to the other, uh, to women, its costs anyway. So we're at a little over 50,000. Um, and again, we're still well under the proposed lighting budget. Um, even with this ATP exception accepted. Um, so again, we're still ahead of the game. Um, and this, it's been the, the products that was designed are the products we're gonna get. Um, so that, that's just huge. 
Uh, it's almost, you know, electronics are funny sometimes. You don't know if something's going to affect it differently. So this was an entire design package. So uh, anybody else want to add anything to this? Sounds good. All right. Uh, there's no further questions. We have a second. Uh, uh, can I have a show of hands all in favor? Anybody against? Sounds good. Anybody abstain? All right. Uh, let's see here. So the next thing we want to do a quick, and again, I keep my um, tablets not working very well right now. Um, so the next thing on the agenda is actually, since we have Marcus here, I know it's not on the agenda. Do you want to give a quick, a, literally a, a 10 second or so update of where we are. We've had a lot of things going on in the last two weeks or the last yeah, week. Yeah, sure, sure. So as you guys probably know from the last uh, meeting you had uh, that Amar gave the update, we've effectively set up on site uh, with our trailer and with our lay down area next to the project. Uh, if you drive by today or, or in the next couple of days, you'll see the site fencing go up uh, around our area and uh, as well as taking over basically the back half of the, the site. Uh, we've effectively occupied the blue, black, and yellow wings at this point, which are um, the yellow wing is the pool, gym area, and basically the two other wings on either side of that. Um, so the, the yellow wing, which is the, again, the pool area, and the locker rooms are pretty well gutted out now, and we're already taking out a floor slab and area that'll be in the new kitchen. Um, our next move is to uh, get into the pool area and get that ready to be backfilled and, and uh, brought up to grade as that's the future cafeteria area. Uh, and then just uh, in the last couple of days, we've got into uh, the black wing in, in significant force as far as getting the hallways clear to the lockers, starting to take down the ceilings, uh, getting out any residual debris or leftover classroom materials. Uh, and we're starting to uh, prep to uh, possibly tomorrow, but probably more likely Monday, start taking out windows in that wing uh, on the side of the new addition where the auditorium addition will go. We'll take out the windows first and clear that area of the PCB uh, debris, which will allow the soil to be removed in that area that's hazardous and us to start on those additions. So that's the quick, uh, quick blurb of progress today. Excellent, does anybody have any questions for Marcus? All right. Um, let's see. Let's unmute you, Greg. Um, Mr. Chairman, with regards to the schedule of the next meeting, um, I see no need and the subcommittee sees no need to have a meeting on June 18th. So I make a motion that our next meeting be July 2nd at the standard 6.30 time, and all meetings between now and then be canceled. Second. Any discussion? No hands all in favor? Anybody against? Anybody abstain? Excellent. Um, again, thank you guys very much for the special meeting. Um, Mr. Chairman, to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Any discussion? Show a hand, all in favor. Anybody against? Anybody abstain? <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Um, hopefully, we won't have to do too many of these, but it's done every now and then. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Bye.